Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to South Africa that owns Somalia. Yeah, nothing much has really happened. I've been looking around the map, and I noticed um, there are hardly any troops here on the Western Front. What we're going to try and do... I. I debated long and hard about this, but what we're going to do, since, yeah, we can't actually move to that territory, our troops will automatically sail, I'm going to bring the Marines back down to the homeland, because I want to try and get them over to France, which, as long as we can make it through the strait here in Adal, then we'll be fine. But if we can't, then we might lose some Marines, because I know there's some Italian subs patrolling around. And I really don't feel safe leaving my uh, Marines there. But we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, let's see, what's our plan? You aren't doing anything. Could you win? Hmm... Probably. What are you doing? You're just shifting along the line so you can do the flank maneuver and we're going to win that battle. Yay. Joy. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was playing Overwatch earlier today because not every second that I'm playing a video game in my life right now is the time that I'm recording. I try, but I don't have an AV splitter, so I just don't think it's, you know, possible to do at the current moment. Oh, those Turkish troops, what kind of a division is that? I don't really have anything other than infantry, and they have really low supply, and we cannot beat them. You can move north. And you're... You've got your task. Uh, I need one of these divisions to keep moving along the mountains. Kind of on the inside of our friends here moving along the coast. But things are going well. Things. I think we're going to win the war. Well, I think we're definitely going to win the war now that the Soviet Union's involved. It's just a matter of Who's going to actually pull out with with a win? Is it going to be us as the Allies or the Soviet Union or what's going to happen? Glad our cavalry is getting up here. All right, we've still got all eight of our convoys. We're going to move past the island of Socotra right here. That's not the Gulf of Adal. That's the Gulf of Aden. Yep. Uh, Adal, I think, is a nation over there in EU4. <laughs> so, you know, I'm smart. I can make those connections. Hmm. Might be able to push up there. Let's see if we can get another division up there. You. you that's going to be your job. You're going to get up there. And then this division, you're going to march straight in and straight north. Have to cut these guys off. Somehow, some way, we're gonna do it. Okay, we're moving through the Gulf of Aden. Come on, I believe. I believe. Okay, we're out of the Gulf of Aden. Smooth sailing from here. Good. Oh, hey, we got better logistics companies. Nice. Um, did I have anything else that I wanted to really get going? Hmm, that's all 1945 tech. We do heavy tanks and try and go for modern tanks. But... 
I don't know, I like super heavy tanks a little more. Now we'll pick up the rocket artillery stuff. I think it's feasible at this point. Need 14 steel if we really wanted to import it. Ooh, pretty soon here we might break the 50 factory mark. And we'll be able to select our last national focus here in this other, in this fifth research slot. That'd be nice. Be really nice, as a matter of fact. Okay, you, sir, can move north into the sandstorm. Yep. Oh, hey, you. You can push this as well. I didn't realize you were doing literally nothing. All right, you guys mop up that territory. Um, got a bunch of divisions kicking around with nothing really to do. All right, our cavalry's here in Somalia. Which is nice. So UK, do you want to give me Ethiopia? You do want to give me Ethiopia. Are you sure? Yes. More territory for South Africa. I really don't know what else we would grab. Um, yeah, France doesn't want to give me anything. So... They probably won't want to give me anything until they have all of their land back. Which by that point, Germany is probably going to have capitulated. Good, it looks like we're able to march up through here, through the Red Sea, pretty much unopposed. Alright, we're moving in. How close are we to actually getting into the province? Because we're going to be able to hold it, no problem. Um, I need one of these divisions to stay back. Just in case. Looks like there's no one on this front line, but nobody wants to push because there's just so many divisions. Yeah, we're starting to lose trucks. Gonna need more trucks, definitely. How many tanks are we at? We're still 56 in the hole, because that's all we're waiting on is tanks and trucks, essentially. Looks like this push might have stalled. Soviet Union seems to like to push like a focus area. Oh, is that a British aircraft carrier? It is. It's nice. Yeah, there's like nobody here on the front line. That's so weird. But it's a thing. That's more... It's a naval invasion thing, okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. We've got plenty of divisions here covering the port. And everyone's going to be fortifying. Oh, no. We lost a marine division. <laughs> no! Okay, we're going to train another one. Uh, no, we can't afford to train another one. <laughs> well, we have seven divisions of marines now. Yeah, all 20,000 of those troops. Uh, I don't think it's 20,000. All 11,000 of those troops died. It is a sad day. Hey, we got the province. Yay! So now, what we could try to do... Yeah, he knows what's, what I'm thinking, and I'm going to try and cut these guys off right here. But... I just don't think we have the supplies to get there. That's the main issue. Okay, I only have to send one division up there. And then you and you are going to push there. Just kind of give us a wider area. So France, you don't want to give me Eritrea. No, you do not.
Yeah, I can't even ask Soviet Union. I will take a non-aggression pact with Soviets, though, just because. My proof would be helpful. We're still holding on to Copenhagen. I love that. All right, so what happened? What's going on? Okay, supply shortage. That's okay. <laughs> it's all of these American divisions moving, kicking around here. But we'll be all right. Because we have 6,000 guns. Oh, but we're running a motorized. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, we're losing a lot of trucks. It's just from the divisions. We burned through a thousand trucks. Are you kidding me? Can I use my... Hmm. I might do that <laughs> for, the, for the super heavy tanks. I mean... We lose a little bit of speed, but we gain. I don't think we need the extra armor. What can I do about the main gun? So that'll give us more soft attack, hard attack, lower our max speed, but give us better pen value. It's interesting to think about. I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it. Yeah, there's so many allied divisions kicking around here. It sucks. There's just attrition everywhere. Hey, British Raj. What's up, buddy? So, you'd be willing to give me territory. What would you... What can you give me, even? Oh, you won't actually give me the tip. Okay. Who else has territory occupied for the Allies? I wonder. Greece. Did you give me, like, Albania? No. Okay. Nobody else has really occupied very much territory. Yeah. <laughs> We're just sitting pretty out here. USA, you won't give me any states, okay. South Africa, yep. We're being a part of the war, totally, yeah, <laughs> we're helping. I think we're actually helping more than the majority of the nations in the Allies. Because they've pretty much given up, and we have not. Set over there. You know what? You, you need to head north. This guy needs to head north as well. You head north. These guys can start kicking around over here. Oh. Okay, I don't really... doesn't phase me that those mountain troops arrived. Really very much at all. Yeah, we're still winning. Oh yeah, we're doing a lot more damage than he is. Because our, our commander is so good. That's incredible. Oh no, they retook Cairo. Oh crap. That's bad. Hmm. Belgium. You don't actually have any. Wait, you do? No. Okay, I was about to say, does Belgium have territory that he has occupied? That's weird. So Venezuela, I can't justify a war goal against you. Wait, was this... Am I still... Yeah, I'm boosting ideologies. Yeah, the Democratic Party here. Woo. Go, go Democrats. Woo. Forget, was I doing it in Hungary? It's Germany, Soviet Union, Italy, Hungary, Peru, and Slovakia. So, Italy, Germany, 
Hungary, Slovakia, and Peru. Wasn't doing it in Venezuela. I remember making that decision. Hey, you too. Go help him. You go help him. And you're gonna help him. Just because I say so. Ooh. We might cut this whole area off from supply because there's no cities over here to provide supply. Yeah, the... Oh, we have radar. Okay, I repeat, we have radar. Hmm. I haven't done much with an Air Force or very much with our Navy. We should probably work on that next campaign. I don't know, it just didn't seem necessary to me at the time that I decided not to focus on it. Hmm. Those are mountains. No, those are, it's desert. Okay. That's okay, then. Ooh, the Iraqis sent another division down here. Okay. No, no Soviet Union. Oh, man, this is going to suck. So hard when the Soviet Union wins the world and he just declares war on us and we're not going to be able to do anything to stop him. Uh, that's going to be terrible. I don't want to have to deal with it, but we're going to have to. Glad we picked up this territory, at least. Yeah, could be... Still could be UK land, but we took it for ourselves because we wanted it. All right. Yeah, we're running that battle now. Good, 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 good. Um, can you, my good man, move into this province, then just move here? Some of these provinces here in Egypt are just massive. Like, look at this. It's huge. Libyan desert. Huge. That, that's massive. And then, you know, you look over here, and Brittany is its own little state. That little tiny province right there, in comparison to the entirety of the Western Sahara Desert. So, how are we doing building-wise? Building more military factories. Good. Yeah, we're stealing the oil from our destroyer production. I don't think we're going to get this one super heavy tank division out by the time... Or... Yeah, by the time the war ends. But that's okay, because we'll still have it. <laughs> Because we're making, what, 0.2 per day, so every five days we're making a tank. Um, every 50 days we're making 10 tanks. So... It takes about a year to build all those tanks from the time we started. Okay. We're going to move north. Oh, wait. You there. Move across the river. And you take that province. And you move into there. And you too move right in there. Take that province. Yeah, you're going to take this and then you're going to move towards Cairo. Oop, something happened. Oh, that's battle plans for. No units signed and it went away instantaneously. Nice. Yeah, here are Marines. There are seven divisions of Marines. Ah, that stings. Oh, naval invasion. For the Horn of Africa. Okay, we're going to be able to 
withstand it. Oi, you, take Cairo. Save our troops. And you, get over there and help him out. And you, once you moved in that province, go over there and help him out. Okay, you guys need to stay here. You know, you need to actually do what I tell you to do. I'm going to assign you to the front line here. So, specifically so that you don't move. It's very frustrating when the AI doesn't do what I tell them to do. Or just said, eh, I don't really feel like doing this. So we're going to wait for this division to get here, and then we're going to launch the attack once again. Because these UK troops aren't going to be able to hold out, but so long. In fact, we can move in now. Sandstorm isn't helping things, but... Oh, they still have Alexandria they can get supplies from, but... We can take Cairo, so why not take Cairo? Hey, UK. Okay, they don't want to give me anything else. Uh, what's our war participation looking like? 13%. Alright, it's going up. Good. Oh, we're railroading. I don't need you to railroad. Stop moving. Stop moving. Go, oh, move in, guys. Help them out. I told you guys to move in. Just do it. <laughs> in the infamous words of Shia LaBeouf. I think I already said that joke on this series. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna move there, and you're gonna move there, and then you're gonna move across the canal. And you're gonna move right to Cairo. And I don't know where you're going, or why, but um, you're just going to go up there. Alright, we're almost done with another factory. And, you know, can I queue up... Oop, didn't mean to press that. Alright, can I queue up any more factories? I can. It's nice. Um... Oh, there's already a sizable naval base there. Yeah, we'll build a couple of civilian factories there. Um, we just need the one civilian factory and the rest can be military there in Ethiopia. I plan on taking those provinces in the peace deal, so... Well, maybe not Ethiopia. Maybe we'll just, you know, cancel that. I don't really want to... We are going to hold on to the Horn of Africa, though, so we're going to need that. What are you doing that is causing you to have no organization whatsoever? You're going to go there, and then you're going to move across because that division has nothing good in it. So close. So close. What happened to all of our troops over here? <laughs> America, come on. Step your game up. Alright, looks like we're going to win the battle for this port in Sinai. Are we going to be able to get to Jerusalem and Tel Aviv? Maybe. Just to spice things up, we might have to declare war on the Soviet Union just because it might make things a little interesting. Oh, we met up with the Soviets here in Bulgaria. Oh man, it happened. 
you know, we're gonna try. We're just gonna try and do a coup. Oh, it needs 13,000 infantry equipment. We don't have that. Um, can I do a smaller scale one? Like, who was I working on? Hungary? We might be able to do Slovakia. Yeah, 800, we can do that. I'm gonna stage a coup in Slovakia. Just because we can. <laughs> All right, we're gonna rush for Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. I hope there's troops in Tel Aviv. What's this? Unfulfilled import requests. Oh, we're not getting steel from France. Yeah, he just doesn't have it. All right, France. I'll just import the rest from Soviet Union. Where are you going? Why are you... No. Go. Get in there. That division is pretty much gone. That division... Come on, guys. Move in. Just move in. Take them out. Well, we've reclaimed all of the UK's land here in Africa. Go us. Because I don't think they would have been able to do it without us. There's still nothing happening here, pretty much. Oh, we met up with the... Soviet troops, but yeah. Japan, how's your navy looking? It's a little smaller. <laughs> Italy, yeah, the same size. Germany, no sh no boats. Wow, Soviet Union has a bigger navy than Italy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to chill here in Jerusalem, and we're going to let our troops recuperate their losses. Yeah, we're out of a lot of trucks. Oh, naval invasion in the Horn of Africa. Okay, I don't really care. You know, we can probably push them out with both divisions. 48.2, okay, so they're losing like 0.2, 0.4. And then, what are we losing? Um, so we can get the game to tick. 18.3, 18.2. I think we're going to win. I think. Depends on what these Iraqi troops do. We might even be able to get to Beirut and Damascus. But that could just not happen. Yeah, we're going to pull off of that attack. Yep, no more troops. Wow. Oh, we did it, boys. We took back Egypt. With the exception of Alexandria. But that's okay. Oh, you, you guys need to move up there. Go, 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 go. Get up there. Yeah, I, I get it. We're running out of supplies. We have plenty of guns. Just no trucks. Are we making even fewer trucks? No, that was 2.55 per week. Not 2.55 per day. How many tanks are we at? Um, we're still 44 in the hole. We'll get those troops out eventually, I think, maybe. We're going to put it off for now, just because we might be able to use the support equipment and motorize for other things. Wow, the UK went all the way up to 207 divisions. Yeah, just the losses are so tremendous. It's insane. Hey, you guys, go in. Now that they're out of Amman. Ooh, advanced landing craft, okay. Hmm. We're gonna 
Oh, that's the timer. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the war is progressing into our favor. Hope you all enjoyed, and that's going to do it for this episode, so I hope to see you all in the next one. So long, everybody.